everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be doing an install of putting my phone bracket as well as a wireless charger in my C8 Corvette from Proclip USA. Hi, I'm Donna Murray and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be installing a phone mount as well as a wireless charger in my C8 Corvette from Proclip USA. So this is a very simple installation so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to jump into it now and I'm going to show you how it's done, okay? We're in the car now and we've got our Proclip bracket here designed specifically for the C8 Corvette and what it does is you can kind of see here and I'm going to show you in the video but this kind of goes in and it's going to loop around the back side of the instrument cluster and lock in and then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of bend this out a little bit like so to go around the screen and then once we get that in place then we can go ahead and we can hook the mount itself up you can see right here there's this little ledge here right there we're going to go inside there we're going to get just up in there like so. You can see that. It's just going up in there like that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of lift that up and then you're going to take your, kind of put your hand here up on the, on the screen and you're going to bow this out. Okay. And you're just going to bow it out until it comes around the screen just like that. That is as simple as that bracket can be and yet it stays on there just awesome. So now that we've got our uh, our bracket installed. Now what we can do is we can take our, our base piece, the charging piece, and we'll pull off the plastic. And then in your package you'll have a, a little bracket here, okay, that will you will end up putting this on and then you'll snap this over it. Okay? But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to set this off to the side and we're going to go ahead and we're gonna screw this down. All right, guys, once we've got our bracket on, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our little Phillips screwdriver. We're going to put a screw in and we're going to get it started on our mount. Now, the mount has already got some holes in it. They're, they're kind of started, but they're not totally, uh, they're very tight. So you'll want to take your Phillips screwdriver here and you'll want to get that started. Be careful not to drop the screws um, because that would make it kind of kind of sucky to have to go dig for them okay but you get you'll get it you'll feel it here and you'll be able to start those okay just like that we'll do do the other one here Three of them now. I've just got the last one. Ready to get started. And once you got them started, then you can just snug them up. Okay, at that point, depending on which bracket you have, if you're going to, uh, you know, if you just had a regular bracket, you'd pretty much be done now, guys. But what I'm going to do here is I've got, I've got the magnetic mount and the charges. So I'm going to put my ring on here, put it over that like so, and I'm going to snap it in place. 
Okay, and then I'll snug it up. And now I can see and get it adjusted right where I want it. So I can put my phone here on it. And there we go. Okay, so now I can adjust it to be like right at me or straight out, whatever it may be. Okay, so once I do that, then I can snug it up a little bit more and it will stay put. Okay, now this comes the fun part. Okay, what I want to do is I don't want this cord to be hanging around, just floating around. Okay, now if again, if you guys don't have a magnetic mount or, or you don't have a charging mount, I should say then you guys are done. But if you guys decide that you want to have a charging one, then of course you've got to be able to plug it in down below in the charging socket down here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this plastic off, first of all, okay, just like that. And then we're going to use our little pry tools. Okay. Make sure it's a nylon pry tool and then you can get in there and you can get right in, in between here. You can see right there that that goes in like so. Now, all I'm going to do there is I just wedged it open enough that I can tuck a little bit of this, of this cord back here behind the screen. So I've got a little bit of movement and it's not going to, it's not going to be tight, you know, where when I'm when I'm trying to move it around. So this way I can I can kind of tuck it behind the screen, nobody's gonna see it. Right? And now what I can do is I can come right over here. I've got this tucked in there like so and I can get that to go down in there. Okay? Just like that. Okay? So you can see right there that goes down in there like so. Then at that point you're going to have to walk it down and you're just going to have to take your time walk it down okay just like that you can use another pry tool if you want to be able to tuck it in okay and then you're going to end up eventually having to move this one out of the way so you can use that one to get this one out of the way so you can come down further and we can get it get it in there like so you can see right there then at this point we've got to bring this out just a little bit farther okay so we might as well go ahead and do it here and then we can get into it with this big one this big one's a little bit stronger and we'll be able to get it to go around and we'll tuck it down through there okay just like so and just take your time right to there okay now what you can do is you can now go around and get underneath this one and you can tuck it underneath here. So we're going to go down like that. And hopefully my camera's picking this up guys. I think it is. But I just want to make sure. Okay. So we're going to try to get this to go underneath the pry tool. This may take a little finessing, so because this is tight. This dash is really tight. Um, it's a lot tighter than the C7 dash was. Um, so we're gonna try to get that up in there. Let's see if I can get this. It's probably gotta go around a little bit here. Just like that. It's pretty tight. There we go. Okay. And then at that point we can go and get it around this little guy.
And it's just, like I said, it's just, just finessing this thing around. Okay, just like that. Then you're going to want, I'm going to have to move my seat back a little bit. And I'm going to pop my glove box open. And then you can see I can just go right down here. Now you may choose not to want to do this, and that's okay. You don't have to. I just like this stuff all tucked out of the way, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay? But literally, that's all you're doing, is you're just tucking it, tucking it down in there. Okay? So all you're going to do is you're going to finish that, you're going to go all the way down, and then you're going to plug in to the cigarette lighter. I already have something plugged in, but we'll be able to go ahead and plug it into the cigarette lighter down here. Just like that. And we'll have power when we start the car. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did and you want to get one of these brackets for your car, be sure and reach out to ProClip USA and they will be able to help you. All right, guys, we got to switch this up just a little bit. Just as I got done filming this video, ProClip USA reached out to me and offered you guys a 20% discount and it runs all the way through the end of December. So you're going to be able to use that code, which is GIFT2023, to be able to get a 20% discount. They don't normally do that, so take advantage of it. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video today, and we'll talk to you later.